real estate agents. Welcome to the Weekly Closer. I'm your host, Jeff Underwood, along with my co-host, Joey Sampaga. He is the man with the plan. How's it going, Joey? I am the man with the plan. I'm doing well. How are you, I'm man? doing great. Doing Ooh, great. We are yeah. the real estate marketing maniacs, and we have a guest in the house that's been in the house before. Yes. She's back. Elisa Axelrod with Security Title. Elisa. How's it going? It's so well, but we're having What's a up? trick today. A trick? We're not interviewing me. What? No? It is Turn the Table Tuesday. Are you serious? Shh. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The crowd is going wild. Wait, wait, wait. Stampede. <laughs> oh, my god. Okay. Gosh. What are we doing? So, not back <laughs> by popular demand. For the first time by popular demand, people want all to right. know all about the real estate marketing maniacs. Who the heck are you and why? All right. So, first of all, this is Jeff Underwood. How's it going? And this is Joey Sampaga. Yellow. Because I don't know about the rest of you. I just called them Jeff and Joey, Joey and Jeff for so long. Yeah. Am I the only one? <laughs> no. no. Well, we're fascinated by you. I have many, many times said I have learned so much, not only for my own use, but I've been effective now in teaching agents about social media, the hows, the whys, to the point where yeah. I am, I, I'm going to trademark the term technology in the wrong hands. So I want to thank <laughs> you for all that. But we want to know about you today, how and why you became the real estate marketing maniacs, all right. Uh, where'd you meet? How'd you meet? How did this all come? And then we do want to talk about you too as real estate agents and specifically how you practice what you what you teach and preach. So okay. first of all, when did you two meet? Joe, you want to take that one? We met remember? probably in a class that I was teaching. I think it was. Yeah, it was a video marketing class that I was teaching, and Jeff was one of the attendees. And uh, I didn't you know, learn anything. Yeah, he didn't learn no. anything. He learned a lot. Uh, that's why he's doing what he's doing now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and that was that was quite a while back. That was back in what, 2007? Like 2008, 2008 or 9? Yeah, 2008. Like yep. wow. Was it love at first sight? No, not really. No. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this could turn into a different kind of interview, but we'll keep it on the straight and narrow. Yeah. So at what point did you meet? It Was it for business or did you realize that you were both so interested in social media and and the birth of this kind of technology? Yeah, I think that uh, so Joey was doing a lot of his classes up here in North Phoenix and Scottsdale area. I was out in uh, East Valley doing a lot of classes, too. I was in the mortgage business at the time. I think Joey yep. was, too. Okay. And um, we just... You know, we were teaching a lot of the same things. He was ahead of me on the video side of it, which is why I went to his class uh, to kind of get from the master, right? The uh, digital marketing black belt or video marketing <laughs> black belt way back then, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we just uh, we have fun with this stuff. So, yeah. So we want to have a big old shout out to our own team member, Lisa Macbeth, yeah. for introducing oh, you. you. And I remember when you came to the sales team, you were invited to speak. And I've told you this yeah. many times. You gave us this beautiful presentation, and is it a year, two years later? Um, a year, yeah, yeah a yeah. year and like four months. You've yeah. done like that. You've done exactly what you said you were going to do, and more importantly, how you were going to do it. You've been amazing for us. So, when you guys go market, uh -huh. you've tried out all the techniques and technology that you share. So, what is your what's your favorite? So, most of them we have. Um, I know I've, I've taught a Snapchat class, but I don't <laughs> necessarily use Snapchat. Um, so I'm not really using that for, for business. But as far as real estate business mm -hmm. is concerned, I think that um, I think that agents have to embrace the technology or the platforms that their clients are, are on on a regular basis. And right now that is obviously Facebook. Facebook okay. is probably the number one thing. There just been so many changes. You know, we just got back from the social media marketing world event and you know that blows your mind too because Joey loves this he, you know he switched back mm -hmm. to a flip phone right um, I did <laughs> because he wants to be more engaged meaning when somebody calls him he's actually taking the time to get on the phone talk to them build that relationship that way instead of just the social stuff um, so we're gonna see a, a big shift to relationship building and, and figuring out ways to use Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever the you know your main platform is for your clients and build those relationships with other people well so. I've started to say and thanks to you guys um, we've got to make ourselves wantable because the information is out there you can google just about anything so getting yep. pricing location rates mm -hmm. terms you can yeah. you can go online 
we have to make ourselves the ones people want that information from and that's what you are teaching the agents how to do so I want to segue into your own practice you believe very heavily in niche marketing and you two have a niche uh, both minimalist and then you have a business called right size living living right size. Live, I'm sorry I did it again <laughs> oh well you know what the, my dad used to say as long as you call me just don't call me late for dinner so as long as it's right size living living right size we'll do it you want to edit that part out or no no no, good. no editing uh, no edit oh, oh. No, yes. this is real so anyway talk to us about uh, your niche marketing how you came up with that platform okay. and how it's working for you do you want well um, we we are focusing on three different niches okay and we're doing it for the reason of testing it out um, we know that it's going to work well um, but we also want to prove what we've been teaching works and the three things would be uh, downsizing or living right size right okay. whether you're upsizing or downsizing will help you be right sized um, and we're Very doing it good thank you thank you <laughs> and we're doing a geographic area as well okay and uh, Alisa you're gonna be helping out with that okay and then also um, the uh, what was the third one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. What's the third one? Um, living right. So the minimalist thing, right? Yes. Downsizing. Yep. A geographic area. Yes. And new builds. New builds. Yes. yes. There you yeah. go. So That's right. <laughs> let me ask you a question. Can you niche three different things? I thought the, well, the definition of niche was to choose. So maybe we should have rephrased that. Maybe yeah. it's maybe it's. Um, or should I say niche? Maybe one niche <laughs> or niche that we're really focused on, which would be the downsizing. So yes. I guess let's let's call it three different campaigns. Okay. Okay. So we'll be doing the the niche marketing. Will be the whole downsizing thing. Um, the geographic area, we'll be testing ways to, to basically geo farm. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And then the new build stuff is pretty straightforward. It's going to be marketing to build a list of people that want to buy a new build. Okay. So, so it's not necessarily three different niches as much as three different strategies, I guess you could say. That works. So the downsizing seems to be a natural evolution from your minimalist point of view that we are, are we don't own our things our things own us yes and you post quite a bit if anyone's friends with Jeff on Facebook they will see uh, timely really important and uh, provocative questions about possessions and material goods and where did that come from gosh where did it come from I, I think it's come from moving uh, a few times and realizing that you have a lot of stuff that you don't even know about anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then I, I started following a guy, um, Joshua Becker. He's got a Facebook page out there called Becoming Minimalist. I just kind of landed on it one day. I found it uh, online and I went and checked it out. And, you know, I, I've watched this Facebook page over the last two years go from like 380,000 followers to 950,000 followers. I mean, he'll be at a million followers by the end of the year. All talking about minimizing, you know, living simply. So then I really jumped into that topic just thinking, gosh, you know, there's a lot of truth to that. And my wife and I, I mean, our goal is to travel more. So we look at, well, what will help us get to that end goal of traveling more? Because that's our passion. You know, that's that's what we want to have as experiences. And we thought, well, if we have less possessions, then we can have more funds available to go travel and see the world. I love it. So that kind of brought uh, full circle around. And yeah, I'm... Uh, going to have a podcast launching soon called Escaping Excess. That yes, it's going to be awesome. going to be fun, a little provocative there too, because it's going to cover money and debt and housing and uh, oh. stress and stuff and possessions. And yeah, it's, um, it's going to be fun. Well, I do love that expression. I said it just a minute ago, but it's true. At some point, you don't own your things, your things own you. And yes. you spend a lot of time insuring and, you know, caring for cleaning your things, your stuff. Yeah. You're right. So Joey is interested in food and he <laughs> has on mostly on Instagram, but I do follow you, a Fit Foodies Arizona. Yes. And tell us about his that. Is, his is food over possessions. That's yes, right. Food <laughs> over possessions. Well, my wife and I we love to eat and we love to try different restaurants, especially local restaurants in the area. Uh, and we like to work out. Okay, fit foodies easy. So oh. we, uh, the reason why we are able to eat as much as we do is because we work out a lot. <laughs> uh, we love to we love to go hiking. Um, we love to go to the gym. Um, I just ta uh, started taking up mountain biking, uh, so I'm doing that with my brother. And you know, we're we're just trying different trails, different 
uh, mountains, different, uh, just different areas. And then we find a good place to eat and then we talk about it. Wow. And yeah. so what kind of response are you getting from that? Because well, I know I follow you. I like everything. But are people, are you finding people saying, I tried that restaurant on your recommendation? Are you getting engagement? Uh, you, we are getting some engagement. Now, we uh, have just started pushing that on um, on Instagram and we, we we're doing it organically so we're not running any ads or anything and people just seeing it mainly our friends on Facebook they're seeing it and they're like oh this is cool and then there would be some who would send me a Facebook messenger say hey you gotta try this or um, how did you like this or you know what would you rate or what would you order at this specific restaurant so w- there is some engagement there and this gets all back we're gonna come full circle to the real estate marketing maniacs mm-hmm. so sure you will build a following of people who want to work with you because you have a lot in common. They have something to share with you and you're finding that in your business. That's the goal, yes. Yeah. The, okay. goal, the goal is to create, and I think this is where, uh, even at the social media event that we just came back from, especially in branding and niching, right? It's, it's easier to work with people who have things in common with you because they immediately have kind of, you know, the guard goes down a little bit. They have some trust in you. You guys like the same things. Um, We're getting ready to deploy um, a Facebook strategy right now to the minimalist side of things. And um, I mean, there are over 100,000 people in this particular demographic list that we've created that we're going to be targeting directly um, in the Valley. So they're going to see a lot of things with the Living Right Size logo, lots of really cool videos, and really playing more to... You know, the goal is to, to touch an emotion, yeah. not necessarily just, I want to sell your house or I want to yeah. help you sell your house. It's not about that. It's about a lifestyle change. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, should we do some shameless self-promotion here and ask everybody to like our security title agency yes. page? Yes. And tell them that they get to see the weeklycloser.com. They get to see all the stuff that we post and when yeah, you guys absolutely. are having classes. When's your next class for security title? We have one. Let's see. Depending on when this is uh, going to be live. We have one uh, next week. Let's see. Actually, I shouldn't say next week because I don't know when this is going to go live. Well, we should so do the special. We've got one on Wednesday. Yes. Um, the, what is that, Joey? Uh, today is. Is it the 14th? Yes, it's the 14th. Next okay. We have one on the 14th out at Weimar on the west side. And then we have one on the 21st in Scottsdale at SAR. Mm -hmm. And both of those are going to be kind of an overview of what we learned at the Social Media Marketing World event. There's some things that will totally blow people's minds. And then there's going to be some things that Joey's going to share that will make them say, you know what? This is great. I can do this. It's about building relationships. (laughs) It is. Well, since you guys are in charge of the show, we should just air this over the weekend as a special treat. Oh, we ought to. We can do, yeah, we can do do whatever we want. We can do whatever we want. (laughs) But I thought it was turn of the table Tuesday. Well, we actually, we could put it out. We could. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right after this. Really turning the table. Yes, we could do that today. Uh, Another thing I wanted to do is ring that bell so we can ask you those questions. Oh, oh no. What questions are they? Getting in the ring. Getting in the ring with, with oh, Elisa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> make some, make Didn't some. they call that a pay-per-click last time we did it? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and so, make some questions. Joey, <laughs> what is the best advice you ever got? The best advice I have ever gotten. Okay, I'm going to go uh, with my faith here. Okay. All right. Uh, was to put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ, which I did. There you go. The best advice. Jeff is going to be wow. hard to top that one. <laughs> um, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, what Joey said. <laughs> Probably so, right? <laughs> I don't know if I can uh, say much else, but here, here I'll say one that's that everybody should listen to, uh, or take to heart. Go for it. Listen to your wife. There we ooh, go. <laughs> ooh. I have I have something, but I won't say that one on the air. <laughs> so, what is your favorite social media platform? If Facebook, but then what's the other question that you have? What's yeah. the other te- technology? Yeah, technology that we use. Mm-hmm. Um, so we are, we started using now Real Geeks. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so uh, we're testing some things with that right now. We're building out everything. Um, I believe we're going to actually help a little bit um, with some training on that. And so that's what we're using for our real estate side of things. Your CRM. Yeah, for the, the CRM. CRM. Yep, absolutely. Well, yeah. I do want to share my favorite one. 
Oh, go ahead. It's my new flip phone. Oh, <laughs> I love it because I get to t- actually talk to people now. I, I think it's a phone. great, great idea. <laughs> You're going to single handedly bring back. So if you could, if you could do that to the typewriter, you'd be great. Oh, too. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, it's so funny. So. We're sitting there at the uh, event last week and, yeah. uh, um, I, I guess two weeks ago, but, uh, one of the guys that finished up the the first day, I believe it was, the keynote for the first day, I think yeah, it was. Yeah. And he was talking about all these changes with social. And Joey's like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And about a year from now, everybody have one of these. And he's talking about his flip phone. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know about that. <laughs> but we'll see. Well, I was at a meeting the other day where everybody was not just told to put their phone away. We had to put in a box. There they you took go. the phones away. That's it, right. You know, and I always say I'm worse than any 14-year-old out there. I'm always <laughs> checking. You know, FOMO. You know, yeah. Patty, Patty Mann, our lovely president. You know, she, we, we were laughing about FOMO one day, and she, she was fear of missing out before it was an expression. So, and I am too. So, yeah. Um, what else do you want to say? How about JOMO instead? What's JOMO? Joy of missing out. Yeah. I, I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick around you guys. What uh, else do you want to share? This is your opportunity. Any breakthroughs? What should what should real estate agents and loan officers know about the future? Anything really that stuck with you that you have to share? One word. Relationships. Relationships. Uh, that's what I've been teaching before, and that's it's a, it's a slow process, but it, you're building relationships with a foundation, right? So it's slower, but it's going to be more true and it's going to be more lasting. Great. Yeah. How about uh, how about we say something like uh, time is the new currency? Hmm. Well, you know what? And spend that on people you care about. Speaking of time, Joey said that we had to keep this to a certain time frame because yes. you have another oh, guest coming in. We do. So that's a great way to there say thank you. Thank you for everything. Your your support, your loyalty to the team, um, being available to us, being available to real estate agents. I know that you did help somebody. I couldn't help her with her business page. Sure. It just wasn't showing up, and I called you and you helped. Thank you for everything you guys do on behalf of everybody at Security Title Agency. Awesome. You guys are welcome. You guys are great. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. All right. Well, until next time, it's Jeff. And Joey. And And Elisa. There you go. (laughs) Bye. All right, y'all. Take care. Bye. Big ol' yeah. Real estate market. (laughs) Thanks, Elisa. Well, that was fun. Should we...